Hi, it's Paul from Sprite Path back with another Tableau tutorial. Today, we're going to discuss dimensions versus measures and the difference between discrete and continuous. These are kind of basic principles in Tableau that you need to understand in order to work effectively with the tool. So first, dimensions versus measures. What are they? So after you connect to data, you're going to find your dimensions and your measures grouped up in the data pane here on the left. The dimensions are in the top half of the pane and the measures are in the bottom half of the pane. Now, let's just get some terminology out of the way first off. So if we take something like state and we drag that out, state is a dimension because it's in the dimensions pane and it has 49 marks in it. You see down here in the status bar. Each one of these states, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas, are members of this dimension. So we call those dimension members. Okay, let's just clear this off. Let's do another one. Uh, category. Category is the dimension. Furniture, office supplies, technology are the dimension members. Now, typically dimensions are your qualitative categorical information. They're what you segment, um, categorize the data by. It's how you slice and dice the numbers, typically. Okay. Now, measures, on the other hand, the bottom half of the data pane are typically the numbers. They're quantitative information and they're things that you can measure. That's why we call them measures. So let's build a quick view here. So let's say something really simple. We'll take category, subcategory, and we'll put sales on. Okay. So in this case, sales is the measure. Category and subcategory are the dimensions. We are slicing and dicing sales by subcategory and category. Okay, so this is the difference between measures and the dimensions. All right, the key thing to remember is measures are quantitative information and dimensions are categorical qualitative information. Now, notice that when we drag these items onto the view, what happens? If you drag any dimension, let's take subcategory, I get this blue elongated oval. That's called a pill in Tableau. When I take sales out, I get a green pill, okay? In Tableau, blue is discrete, green is continuous, okay? So when you hear discrete, what you need to be thinking in your mind is individually separate and distinct. So in this case, these subcategories are individually separate and distinct categories. We have accessories, appliances, art, okay? If I was to replace this with state, just drag it right on top, okay? I've got individually separate and distinct states, okay? So that's why this pill is blue and it's, it's known as discrete in Tableau. Now notice also when I drag a discrete field onto the view, I get headers, essentially labels for each separate and discrete bucket. When I have uh, sales here, which is a green pill, which means it's continuous, what do I get? I get an access, okay? So let's just switch this up a little bit. Uh, to make it easier to view. Let me just replace state with subcategory. We'll make it fit the entire view. And we'll take profit and we'll put it out on top of sales. So now we're looking at a view and I'm also gonna take profit and put it on color just so it looks cool. So orange is negative, blue is positive. So in this example, subcategory is the dimension, profit is the measure. Subcategory is discrete because it has individually separate and distinct headers. And profit has an access. So whenever a continuous pill is brought out, Tableau draws an access because it's a range from minimum to maximum, okay? So let's look at one more example just to really drive home this point about continuous versus discrete. We'll clear this view. Let's take order date. We'll bring this out and we'll choose discrete month. Notice in my options here, I have these area of date formats that are in blue because they're discrete and I have these area, this area of date formats in green because those are continuous. For now, I'm gonna choose discrete month, okay? And then I'll take sales out. And what happens? For my discrete month, I get headers. And for my continuous sales, I get an axis as expected. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to a bar because when we're looking at discrete months, best practice is a bar. Okay, so here you can see January, February, March, each of these are their own separate discrete buckets. Okay, now conversely, what if this were continuous? So we can change our months from discrete months to continuous, continuous months just by going here. Again, this set of options are uh, meant to be continuous and this is discrete. 
So I can choose discrete months, and then what happens? Look what I have down here. I have a range, an access. So I'll go ahead and switch the line because when you're looking at continuous dates, best practice is a line. So here I have two green pills, both continuous. So I have an access for each one. For sales, I have an access showing me the complete range, min to max. And for continuous month, I have an access showing me the complete range of dates from min to max. So that's the difference. When you hear continuous, you're thinking forming an unbroken whole without interruption. And when you hear discrete, you're thinking individually separate and distinct. So I hope that helps. Dimension versus measure, continuous versus discrete. If you have a good solid handle on those, you'll be in good shape as you progress down the learning path.